The Studio Museum in Harlem is the principal center for the study of black art in America. It has a real connection with artists, a place for people to see artists working. The Studio Museum is really a key player on the global scene. A place of incredible quality, excellence, imagination. A place where, frankly, everything seemed possible. The promise was very much in our minds and in our hearts. At the core of Harlem is a kind of beating heart and an embrace of culture. It was both its figurative mythic place and it was also day to day a working community. This was a very exciting thing that was going on in Harlem, this emerging museum. This was a loft building on Fifth Avenue between 125th and 126th. It was a community center, an artist circle, a forum for amazing conversations. It was just this gathering space where artists would meet up. The feeling and family and community part, that's what a museum is. The founders created such an important way of understanding our mission and our purpose just in our name. I saw the promise of what they were thinking about when they said Studio Museum. So we soon had four artists working upstairs and the printmaking workshop. Just the whole dynamics of that created heavy buzz all over the community. I think moving into the building at 144 West 125th was a big deal. The notion of having a museum was always tied to the notion of having a place of our own. It took a lot, you know, the board, our donors, and a small but very dedicated staff. Ordinary citizens who held an absolute firm belief that they could build a real museum in the center of Harlem and that it would be an A-plus gold standard museum. We had been kind of on the edges of important African-American cultural organizations around, and then we were just right in the middle of it. We knew the museum had kind of arrived. I think the Studio Museum became one of the linchpins for the rebirth and revitalization of Harlem. That core notion that artists helped define our identity made the museum unique in New York City, in museums, period. I had a lot of really significant encounters with the artists in residence just because of proximity. While I was there, David Hammonds was an artist in residence, Allison Saar was a, an artist in residence, Carrie James Marshall was an artist in residence. Kahinde Watley was always coming down and dragging me up to a studio and we'd sit and talk. You got to establish a relationship with the artists. The gallery was their space for them to present their work in a way that was meaningful to them. Every time there was an exhibition, the artist in Harlem and in New York City would come and it was almost like a homecoming. It was always really important that the museum be about the preservation of the material evidence. If we did nothing else, we had to be a place that collected that work. Having a collection permeates into influencing what you're doing with your programming, exhibitions, acquisitions, and educational programming. We strove to really have the space come alive with not just paintings and sculptures and installations, but all manner of artists. It remains distinctive that the Studio Museum is committed to this idea of artists as a central part of the museum's life. At any period in the history of black artists, the Studio Museum has marked it by its exhibitions, its programs, its collections. I think it's continuing to build on its legacy and I think the future is wide open. I think the museum has more than fully realized uh, the vision that it held for itself 50 years ago. It continues to serve its need, the need that it's fulfilled in, in the cultural life of New York City. The Studio Museum really broke open the canon and really expanded the consciousness of people around what art was and where the role of 
black artists stood in that discussion. I'm hoping with the new building and with the new resources that the Studio Museum is really going to show the world how to really be a truly inclusive and global institution. Everything is new. Everything is possible. And I feel really privileged now to think about this next phase of the museum to be able to continue to express the history this institution has created, to think about black artists differently, broadly, and beautifully for so many years. The Studio Museum is where black art lives.